Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm here today with the infamous Sandy Gong. <laughs> Sandy, welcome hey. to Regenesis 360 today. Uh, oh, Sandy, God. I'll tell you, this gal is, is, is one of the busiest persons I've met out there. She's always uh, been an amazing support to the candidates and, you know, for the party here and, uh, and for her own independent efforts, too. And, and so what is your title today, Sandy, hey, or what have, are your titles? I have so many hats. I have so yeah, yeah. many titles. Um, you have a personal one for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got that one too. Yeah, we got to start making shirts. Right. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. we did. Yeah. We were yeah. going to. Yeah. But I mean, I'm the leadership director for the Republican Party of San Luis Obispo County, and then I'm also the chair of District Four, right. which is Lynn Compton's district. But today, actually, I'm talking on behalf of just being a community activist and on my own behalf and giving my point of view. Well, that's great. Which is very dangerous. Yeah, it is dangerous. <laughs> I mean, I had to lock the doors and, uh, yeah. and, you know, we couldn't let anybody in. We had to sneak you, Sandy, up the elevator yeah, here. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being here. I know you've got some things you want to uh, just share with everybody. Here we are in the final weeks of, we are. of, of the race. Some 18 very... days as of today, but when this airs, it will be less than It'll that. Be, yeah, and it will. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been crazy out there. Um, it's a roller coaster. The time right now is basically to put the seatbelt on and tighten up because that's where we are. What I think about that though, it's like, remember when people would wear the masks in the car during yeah. COVID? Yeah. Now I sh we should really like market a, a seatbelt that we can wear outside. <laughs> well, that's right. right? It's Walk around with the seatbelt. <laughs> Make sure we keep our posture up. Right. right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. The slate mailers are going out. I'm sure that all of you, you know, receive an inordinate amount um the that is basically the way to know the candidate yeah. the slate mailer the signs do not get the vote mm, the signs do not okay. what gets it is to really inform the voter on the on the slate mailer okay so they can do their research sure. okay the voter yeah. register voter now what's happening though is that the don ortiz leg um, jimmy paulding and bruce gibson have had their name on the Republican slate mailer. They have paid oh. for it. Oh. Okay. So what that does is it's, it really confuses the the, the voter. voter. Yeah. And especially with all this rhetoric, they yeah. do, you know it's just like okay, who do we vote for and things yeah. like that. So um, that's what we're running into. Yeah. You know we right now um, the county as of today have four percent of the voters who have voted. Four percent. Four percent only. So I think wow. the message here is that they don't understand, the voters don't understand how important the primary is. Yeah. Well, and we've got some races that are critical to to Slow County. Right? Yeah. I mean, this supervisor's race, uh, I mean, it could end up, you know, we could be five, four to one on the other side, or we could be five, five, upside yeah. down, you know, and the other side could be in, in control. And that's not going to be a good thing. Exactly. I think the most, for me, the most important races are definitely um, Stacey Corsgarden District 3, Lynn Compton District 4, and um, Bruce Jones District 2. Okay, those are the most important ones. This, the, the fourth one would be County Clerk. Oh, that's a big one, yeah. That is huge. Oh, yeah, well, everybody's been concerned about voter integrity. Tommy right. Gong left and, right. and didn't. No uh, relation to me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's make that let's disclaimer that right here. now. No relation here. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Sandy wouldn't be here. You know? No. Yeah, we'd both be right. knocked we'd out, both of be out of town here. Yeah. Yeah. And we're out we're, of town. And we're painting the town red right now, yeah, so that, do not that, stop that, That's right, that's right. Um, no, you're right, because if we can't rely on accurate voting it, it doesn't matter who's and running who, for office who, right yeah. it doesn't matter it's a moot point yeah and, and i think the other side you know the 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 bad guys they want to paint that perception too that there is voter fraud so don't vote anyway right so there's i i've heard people say that you know it says oh chris they're cheating anyway so i'm not going to vote i go right. no shame on you you vote you still do your part and so um there's what three four people running for that uh, yes. seat? Yes. I, well, I don't know if there's three or four. I forget. But anyway, I just know it's extremely important. I had the opportunity to attend the, the forum um, at the Chamber of Commerce in San Luis Obispo. And before, it used to be businesses, I mean, yeah. as you know, yeah. 
but now it's nonprofit organizations oh, for right. San Luis. And so we had a forum with all the candidates and we could ask them questions. So Elena Cano, the current one that is sitting in, she said there is just no fraud that um, people will receive one ballot. If they do get a second one, it automatically pops up on her, on her screen. And I had mentioned, well, gosh, I, I did some ballot harvesting myself for one a specific household. Someone received six ballots. Oh, wow. Okay. They also received ballots where the people had already died. Yeah. So she said there's no issue. 11,000 and some have not been counted in this county. Myself, my example is I just got notification on my phone due to ballot tracks that my my ballot did not count for the Gavin Newsom recall because it had to do with my signature has of course, changed. Yeah. And I just received it. Just now. Yeah. Yes. So see, when she makes statements like that, she knows she's not giving accurate information. To me, that already speaks to, to the integrity. Everybody knows. It's just the question is how much of voter fraud is there going on? But we know that it's happening. So when she makes a statement like that, there's absolutely no voter fraud. She definitely needs to go. Right? Yeah. Right? She has to go. And once someone says that, and yet you know the facts, there's just, what do you do? Yeah. Because that immediately, one dismisses it. Yeah. So um, that's it. Um, as far as the the county clerk, all of the candidates are, are busy. They're getting the, they're trying to get the votes. They're trying to rally their supporters yeah. and everything like that. Due to the fact that that um, Jimmy, Don, and Bruce are now running as conservatives, right? And Don is running as a moderate. They all have, especially Jimmy has these. Republican views and everything. So apparently, he knows it works in this. Yeah. He knows the Republican Party is correct. <laughs> well, yeah, and look at his signs. His signs are red. I mean, if, if somebody didn't know, they they could think he's part of the Republican exactly. Party. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, he is knocking on doors and saying he is. Yeah, wow. He was, he was caught at the um, country club. Mm. So, you know, that's interesting. Now, Don is, um, you know, environmentally. You know, and tuned in. She has supported the windmills and everything in Morro Bay um, for energy, and that's her big um, baby. The thing is, with that, is there are windmills, and then they're going to put lithium batteries, okay, in the property, and that's to generate energy for us. Mm. There are three locations in California to do that. We have one in our own backyard. The thing with that is that they're not recyclable. No, of course. So we're using our bags, right? Yeah. Our, recy our reusable bags. We got rid of straws. Yeah. <laughs> and yet that same material is being used for COVID testing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know? Well, anything that makes sense, they don't go that route. So it's hard for us to get our arms around, you know, some of the things that they're doing. It's yeah. Just, it's, it's amazing. Uh, well why so many of us want less government not more government right you know uh, right the less we have the better things are going to run right and, and you know I, I was thinking about this you know when you and i first talked and i mean we've known each other since god over a year now a year and a half almost two years now yeah. yeah yeah and we're still we still like each other we still like each other yeah, how about that right. yeah, we're sitting here today we're sitting here yeah <laughs> breaking bread or whatever we're yeah doing. yeah but um we we were talking about being like-minded and doing things and and you and i were very involved with the lucia mar recall yeah and when we were we said well why are we doing this we don't even have kids right we're not doing this so but i i feel that we're doing this to be this involved as far as myself is to make a, a difference for the younger generation yeah. For my kids, because yeah. it's all about, it's all about the children, adult children, and I mean, there are precious cargo, not, I mean, I'm really not doing it for me. I have to always check that out, you know, do a self No, really, and as a parent, or a grandparent, or even just a concerned citizen that does care about the future of this country, uh, that really, I feel that all of us have a fiduciary duty right. to do something, you know, no matter how small it is, something. And if everybody did, boy, what a difference it would make. You know, 
one of the reasons that the, you know the people of purpose started was just to bring more awareness I mean there's so many great groups out there so many great people doing so many things but uh, there's still so many people asleep at the wheel like we need to wake everyone up and say hey right you know and I believe a lot of people don't know that it's it, the primary no they, I, they don't I yeah. know that I've been canvassing out there and a lot of people think oh oh yeah. I'm voting. Yeah, well, that, it's that time of the year. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so that's interesting. Um, Jimmy, of course, you know, is one that believes in all tax hikes. You know, yeah. he has 16 that he's voted for. I had the opportunity again at the forum, and, um, you know, he voted for the roundabout by Briscoe. Yeah. So I said, you know, as far as the cost of that, it's going to cost $34 million. And he said, you're spreading lies about me. I said, okay, well, what is it? He said, it's not 34 million, it's 31 million. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he verified it for me. Yeah, 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 all right. So I was off. You were off a little bit. I was There's off. always a little bit of cushion on either side, right? A little, a little to the left. Yeah. And then um, he is drafting, as of now, drafting um, a plan to increase the sales tax in Rio Grande 1%. Yeah. So our sales tax is 7.75, and the reason he's doing it, everybody, is because we have the lowest one in a row, Grandy. Oh, so well. since we're low, we might as well increase. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that the Democrats are, they are so perfect, they nail on every time. When all else fails, raise taxes. And it still doesn't work. Right. When are we going to get, and if you're there working for your constituents, it's just common sense that we don't want our constituents paying more. Our got job is to get them to pay less, less. taxes, better opportunity, more growth for businesses. Right. Right. Yes. Uh, it, I just it never ceases to amaze me, and that people don't even pay attention to that. No. You know, no, like why just... would you vote for somebody that wants to increase your taxes? It, it's not like we're not paying anything right now. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Um, so that's going on, you know. I mean, it's it's crazy out there. So um, I was I was clarified on that. Um, Bruce Gibson did share with me at the forum because I didn't know about this. I had asked, is that do you know the county has three million dollars allotted for childcare? I didn't know this, and so they're putting a plan together as far as how to how to utilize that and how to allocate it for especially those people going to, um, you know, um, converting to go back to the workplace, especially during COVID. And so they don't have a plan right now because it's just a one-time deal. So I, I told them that maybe, you know, a pilot program could be used and kind of check it with just maybe 30 or 40 people. And so, um, you know, he, he's going to take that into consideration. Okay. But that is good because that really would help families. Absolutely. That yeah. really Especially would. Especially right now. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So, so how do you feel about the election? Well, I'm... I've done my part. I've voted, and I right. know you and I are going to have a little uh, challenge on we that, are. right? We're going to write down who we voted for, right. put it in, in an envelope, and on sealed. June eighth, sealed, sealed, sealed an envelope, and either Julie or Sophie will open the envelope, and whoever. Well, she's family, that's not fair. <laughs> that's <laughs> no, the no, way, right. that's no, the way like that, election yeah. integrity. Yeah, 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 yeah. We better bring in the uh, county clerk to, right. to make sure there's no fraud here. But in any whoever event, wins. Yeah, that's whoever wins, you know, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So Sandy and I are going to have a little fun with it with a challenge like that. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I like everybody. You know, I have my concerns. I, you know, I, I want to always be optimistic and believe that uh, the hard work that all these candidates that we've all been supporting um, are going to cross the finish line. Right. You, you know. Right. And, and it's for all of our sake. You, you know. And I know they're working so hard. It's not an easy thing. And I, and I commend anybody that wants to run for office. Yes, know? it and, is a 24-hour oh job, 24/7. Um, yeah. The campaign managers are oh. really working yeah. like a pinball machine. And we have several volunteers that are um, walking, you know, canvassing, um, calling. So I want to share a little bit about phone banking. Okay. Okay. Um, starting Sunday, so even next week we'll be doing it. It's a contest. It's so, I'm so happy about this. Phone banking, so you are on Campaign Psychic, and you it's almost like a robocall. Mm -hmm. So you can call like five people at one time, and you normally never receive, a, I mean, someone will pick it up. 
and it gets it goes to a voicemail with either Lynn or Stacy. That's what I'm handling here in South County. Okay. And whoever makes the most calls between now and June sixth will win two hundred and fifty dollars for each camp, Stacy's and Lynn's. And then we also am um, having the um, the competition in D two, so it's going to be all three candidates. And then the overall winner for the campaigns and the contest will also win the you know two hundred and fifty and a gift card or a dinner for two at the Hitching Post. Oh wow, what a great deal! So you can sign up right here. All right, <laughs> <laughs> just for the Hitching Post. Right. Is Terry right. going to serve us? There? She is. She's personally she served is. by now, Terry Strickland. Remember, it's a dinner for two. So yeah, okay. that's really, yeah. really great. So I'm excited. I, I, I know that Chris will put the information yes. down below in the e and then email. And you can contact me. Um, I will I will train via Zoom or anything that will be convenient for you. I want you to know that you can make these calls in the privacy in your own home. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. yeah. You can wear your MAGA shirt. Whatever yeah. you want to do. Whatever wear. you want to do. Do you know yeah. what I did? I bought this tinsel wig, you know, like metallic, yeah. and it's red, white, and blue. Okay. Oh, there and you I'm going to wear that. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, good. Whatever raises the energy level, you know. TMI, guys. Yeah. TMI. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're on a Zoom, just make sure the video's not on. <laughs> It will be on. Of course it will. Jeff Toomey and I are not friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, leave it up to Sandy to, to do something that fun. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, it, you, you got to have fun You got to keep it. laughing. You know, it, it's, it's a lot of work. It, it is high stress. And uh, we got to have fun. And I think, like what we're doing now, it's important that we laugh. We, we're serious when it's time to be serious. We know what the objectives are. But, you know, we got to stay light, too, you know, because, uh, as you know, being in the health world my whole life, I've always told people, you gotta, you got to laugh. I mean, don't stress out so much because it's not worth it, you, you know. You, but do what you got to do, and that's all we can do right. is, is as long as you're doing something. Right. And for those of you that are listening to this today, what uh, Sandy was saying about the phone banking and they need people, uh, you know, maybe... You're busy. We're all busy. But if you can answer that call, give you know if you have you know any questions, call uh, Sandy and make some calls. You know this there's just a few weeks to go. If all of us chime in and do each of us do something, Pun it will intended. be significant. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, even if it's an hour to two hours, and I usually do it. Um, you know, I'm just taking a break or something. I mean, I work full time, but I mean. 15 minutes here, 50, you you know, you can, you know, dice that within four times. So okay. it's great, guys. Um, it's an opportunity for you to get money, um, to fill up your tank with gas at this point. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, you'll get a tank of gas. <laughs> uh, hey, you know, that's, that's high. Yeah, I, yeah, so that's great. Um, you know, that's what we're doing, but we really need phone bankers right now. We're going to, you know, we're trying to finish the, the finish line. We're at the ninth inning. Got to throw that Hail Mary and go from that. And, you know, I will piggyback on what Chris said. You know, we both like to live that healthy lifestyle and and be aligned mentally. Yes. You know, in our and um, body and soul. And so that's really important. I think when we're no longer having fun, then we need to step away. Well, that's right. We really do. And we've talked about that personally, yeah. you and myself. Yeah, so, yeah. There's it, 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 enough seriousness out there. Um, and we do got to keep that fun component there. And people appreciate that, too. Yes. They really do. Yes. Because if we want seriousness and more ugliness, you just watch, you know, mainstream media. So, right. you know, they can watch our videos and know that we're always right. going to have fun. We're always. And but we're, we're going to give you... Yeah. yeah we, we're we're going to give you the beef. We're going to uh, give you the, the goals and objectives. And uh, we, we just need everybody to step up and and help these amazing candidates exactly. cross the finish line. Exactly, and yeah. like I said, they are working hard. They do all have conservative views. Um, you know, we put our trust in them, so um, we couldn't ask for better candidates that are running. Yeah. We really yeah, can't. We can't. I mean, the trust that I have for all of them yeah. is um, incredible. So that's good. So I think that we should um, circle back. Yes and let them know our results. So what Chris and I are gonna do is we are going to uh, write our predictions down. Yep. 
who is going to win each each office yeah. as far as the three candidates and the county clerk. And the county that. clerk, yeah. And um, who else? Judge. We'll, well, just, we'll do all we'll of it. Do all we'll of we'll them. do. We don't want we'll, to. we'll do. You know. Uh, Ballot A on both sides yes. and ballot B and ballot on both B sides. We'll yeah, since we're and in then, the same area. Yeah. And then like Chris said, we're gonna seal it and then we we could reveal it. Not here because we don't want to offend anybody, yeah. but we'll just say who's gonna buy somebody lunch. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what we'll say. Yeah, we, we gotta be careful, you know. Right. <laughs> we still gotta, you know, go through the community here. We might upset we somebody if say, we yeah, if yeah, we choose we somebody that, that they don't but no, we all respect where everybody's at. Everyone has their own uh, opinions and, and uh, favorite people and that's uh, that's what makes the world go around you know exactly. we're not always going to agree on everything but uh, what I do know is we all want the same thing though yes we, all we can agree that we disagree but you know, yeah. remember you guys gotta get out there and vote I mean spread the word how important it is it's our God-given right to vote yeah. I mean it is yeah so. Well, Sandy, thanks for being here today. Yeah. And, uh, and we're still friends. And we're still friends. How about yeah. that? You know, we're even having a little fun and waging uh, a bet. So that yeah. means we, we still like each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, of we course do. we do. We do. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, the details will be in the body of this email. Uh, we are recording this on Friday. As everybody knows, we send our emails out first thing Monday morning. So make sure that you're always keeping your eyes open Monday morning to get these uh, email messages and take action. Um, you know, again, we're all busy and that's never gonna change. So if you can give an hour or more, uh, you know, to the helping uh, of this camp, all these campaigns, it's gonna be very beneficial and the candidates that I know each and every one of you wanna uh, see cross the finish line, you're gonna help them too. So. Thanks again, Sandy. Hey, thank you. Everybody Chris. have a great weekend, and okay. we will see you at an event soon. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.